All right, YouTube. Um, welcome back. Just want to give you guys a quick um, rustler update here. Um, as you guys can see, the rustler is taken apart here. Um, I really haven't done much since the incident the other day. Um, it's still very oily. Um, I just took it apart here. Th this is this is fine. I just noticed there's, there's a little bit of a crack. Uh, a little piece missing right there. Um, so I just want to take it off just to see what sort of damage there was. But there wasn't anything. So I'm not going to worry about that. Um, <clears throat> like I said in the previous wrestler video. Um, AJ was out you know, running the car. And it got away from him. And um, he, he hit the, the pole outside. And he went airborne and hit the pole sideways and this is where he hit this is the site of impact right here um <clears throat> there's some paint from the pole like i said he hit it going pretty quick um this cracked here which hit this which there's you can see on both screws right there um that's actually where or th uh, this actually came off of this. You can see right here that it actually hit hit hard enough to actually just break those right off. Um, nothing else was really damaged. Um, the the front shocks obviously popped off. Um, that's an easy fix though. I don't see anything broken. I don't see or I don't see anything else broken. I don't see anything bent. Um, <clears throat> so everything looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to take this time to go ahead and clean it off again. Give it a good cleaning. Um, the Anaconda tires are holding up. Uh, obviously, there's some wear on them. Um, but I'm actually I'm actually surprised at how, how well they're holding up. Uh, I know that these are, you know, meant for street and asphalt and pavement. So, that's, uh, that's what I, I was looking for. Um, so, through all this here, I took... An assessment of the damage and basically what I'm looking at is purchasing the lower <clears throat> excuse me the lower um, chassis okay which is you know all which is just this right here um, it doesn't doesn't have this part here that's not part of the lower chassis um, this is just considered lower lower chassis which is tracks this is number uh, 3722a or 3722 um, I'm also going to be getting the aluminum shot caps here. Uh, four of them come in a set. I'm going to go ahead and, and replace all four of them. Like I said, I'm done. I'm done messing with these things. They, they just keep popping off. You know, I, it, it's like, I, you know, I, I hit a bump and, and they start to pop off and, you know, I'm just, I'm over it. So I'm going to re replace those aluminum shot caps. Um, you know, so hopefully all the suggestions will have helped because this is this is very frustrating. Um, you know, I I'm tired of cleaning up shock oil. So <laughs> um, and then also uh, I obviously need to get the rubber bladders. Um, I'm going to pick up like I'm going to pick up two packs. I think four come in a pack. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up four of them um, this way. Or I want to go ahead and pick up two of the, of the four pack. This way I'll, I'll I'll have eight, so I'll just replace them as I need. Uh, but hopefully I won't have to replace anymore. Um, and then last but not least, shock oil. Uh, I'm out. I'm out of shock oil, and I'm not really sure what weight to use. So I'm hoping that you guys can give me some input on what's on uh, what weight to use. Um, you know the 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 backs and and the fronts um i really haven't done much research on my own um i mean other than there's different weights so i'm not sure what weights you know i should use in the front compared to the back um you know i it, it, as you guys can see in my videos most of my running with the rustler anyways is done on road so i'm sure that that definitely plays a factor in my selection so if you guys have any suggestions, uh, please leave them in the comments below. 
Um, and also, I wanted to bring this up again. I, I didn't get a lot of feedback from my previous video. But what do you guys think about this battery? Um, this is this is my one and only battery I have for the Rustler. <clears throat> and during the impact, obviously the battery's sitting there. And it hit there, so everything kind of crunched here. Um, the None of the cells are showing. Everything on the battery looks fine. It's not ballooned. That little hump there you see there is just because... That the, the, the little metal frame right there um, just kind of popped up, um, you know, from, from the impact. But nothing nothing on the battery is ballooned. Um, nothing, it, you know, it didn't, obviously didn't catch fire. Um, it didn't, it didn't smoke or anything. Um, but I just want to get you guys this feedback on what you guys think about the battery. Uh, I mean, can I just put some electrical tape over that, you know, just to, you know, cover up the, um, the, the inside there I mean nothing nothing is exposed and none of the cells are exposed um but I, I I don't know I don't know I'm not sure uh what to do about this so maybe you guys have some insight like I said I mean you know I'm sure you're, most of you guys know and if who you know for those that don't know these batteries are quite expensive uh it's a three cell lipo and this battery was like 75 bucks so I haven't tried charging and I haven't done anything with it. Um, like I said, this is this it's just the condition that it's in. Um, so maybe some of you guys that have more experience with these batteries can give me some suggestions and feedback on what you guys think. Like I said, nothing I can't see any damage done to it. But like I said, with the hit that it took, you know, it did it did separate, you know, this part here, uh, just the outer outer light covering, if you will, and then that little top, like there's like a little metal frame, a little metal metal cover in there, um, that just kind of popped up just a little bit there. But I mean, as far as the actual battery inside, I can't see. You know, you guys can kind of see in there. You know, nothing's ballooned. Everything looks fine in there. Like I said, the rest of the battery looks fine. So. Anyways, guys. Um, that's going to do it for this video. <clears throat> like I said, please leave your comments about the shock oil weight. And obviously this battery. Um, and like I said, I'm going to go ahead and get, the, get these parts ordered. And get this thing back on the road so until next time guys as usual please comment like and subscribe and until next time see y'all later